everyone, it's Quack One. Hi boys and all the families and anyone else who might be watching us today. We want to say hello, hello from the Quack One team. Hello from Raphael. Raphael, do you want to say? Hi boys, we miss you all from Boys Square. We do, don't we Raphael? We miss being there on the Thursday evening, playing all our games and doing crafts. And we miss everyone who helps us Quack One as well, don't we? Yeah. So we want to say a hi to everyone. But Rafa, I heard we have something really special coming out today. Do you what? know what it is? No. There is a really, really, really famous movie star. And he decided to come and be part of Square One today. <gasps> it's going to be amazing. So we would like to introduce, well, maybe we shouldn't say his name, but you are in for a treat. Get yourself ready, call everyone to come and watch because we have a movie star. So let's watch it now! Woo! Hi everybody, Mitch Banner here, Hollywood superstar, welcoming you to my villa in the rolling Hollywood Hills. Okay, well, maybe it's my bungalow here in uh, Watford, but it's the next best place, right? And I want to give a massive thank you to all the good folks at Square One TV for giving me the opportunity today to promote my new movie. And we have a trailer for the movie coming right up in just a moment. Now, when I uh, was invited on the show, I put out there on the social media to all of my fans to send in any questions they had about the new movie. And I actually got no questions sent in. But that's okay, it's, it's a bit like the response to my last two movies. I'm sure you've all seen them. Uh, the, the Man Who Ate Sandwiches and Watford FC, the greatest club in the world. Yeah, I really thought I was going to get somewhere with that one, but I got no responses to that either. Still, that's show business, right? you got to take the rough with the smooth. And I'm pretty sure my next movie is going to be smooth. In this movie, I play a guy called Graham. And Graham wants something. He wants it so bad. He's practicing. He's trained. He's learned. He's got the gear. He's got the moves. He's got the commitment. But this thing that he wants, it's just out of reach. He can't get to it no matter what he tries. I'm not sure he's ever actually going to get it. But I guess that's going to be up to the viewers to decide. Now, I'm working on this current movie with a really famous director I've never worked with before. She's a lady and we call her Andy. Her name's Andy Rea. And you know, she said to me, Mitch, I think this film is going to be a real success because it's a bit like life for a lot of people. You know, we want stuff. We try to get stuff. We have our hopes, our dreams, the plans, the things we want to do. And sometimes those things, we just can't get to them. They're just out of reach. And also, it's a bit like the same, but the other way around, where we have the things we want. We have our routines. We have our programs. We have the places we go. And suddenly, it's all taken away. I mean, it's just like the current lockdown, right? I mean, how crazy is that? I'm sure a load of my fans can't even get to school. They can't get to college. They can't get to see their friends. Can't do any of the usual things they usually do. Some of the stuff in the shops is just not there, right? How bad is that? I can't even go to the cinema to see myself in my own movies. Well, maybe that's not such a bad thing, but... Anyway, Andy Rea showed me this other script. And she said that uh, in here, you can see that when things get shaken like that, Things get messed about, our routines and our plans and all these kinds of things get shaken loose and go wrong. We don't get the things that we want, but we can get what we actually need. And it's a relationship with the main character in this script, a guy called Jesus. i got to tell you guys, having looked at this script and read it through, I want the relationship with this guy. I want to be like this guy. I mean, there's a bit in the script here that I love, and it says, it's, it's Jesus, the main guy, and he's saying, everyone who hears these words of mine and puts them into practice, so you have your relationship with him and you're obeying his words, putting them into practice, 
like a man who built his house on the rock. The rain came down, the streams rose, the winds blew, the virus came, the lockdown started, but the house did not fall because it had its foundation on the rock. So for me, even though these movie awards I'm hoping to get nominated for may not happen yet, this current movie of mine, it may crash and burn like all the others. Things around me may go wrong, they may get shaken, I'm tempted to be a bit worried about stuff. But if I've got the relationship with this guy, I'm solid, man. I'm solid. Nothing's going to shake me. Because Jesus said, never will I leave you or forsake you. I will always be with you. Even the hairs on your head are numbered. Well, I'm not sure I could count the hairs on my head right now after this lockdown. But I believe it. I believe it. And I kind of hope that Graham in this movie, he can't get what he wants right now. But I hope he will come to believe this as well. But I guess that's up to the viewers to decide also. But anyway, thank you again to the amazing guys at Square One TV. Love you guys. Can't wait to see you all soon. Remember, fans, to be good to your parents and your brothers and sisters because we're in this together. But your number one priority, well, your number one priority is probably to keep washing your hands and stay safe. Your number two priority, as soon as it's safe, is to get down to the cinema, get your ticket for my new movie. But right now, sit back, get your popcorn, because we have a world premiere exclusive showing of the trailer for my new movie, Pigeon Power. Technology guys, do your thing. story for us pigeon power and trying to catch the pigeons we want to say a big massive thank you to Graham and everyone who helped him thank you to the pigeons too and thank you for the wonderful message that you brought us to us from the bible Graham thank you boys I hope you were really blessed were you blessed Rafa yes did you have fun watching it yes please don't tell me you're going to want to catch pigeons now oh yes I will oh Graham <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. We're going to do our prayer to finish our Square One TV today. But instead of doing our normal finger prayer, we thought of trying something different. So, shall we try it, Rafa? Yeah. Need some space in your house? Shall we go for it? Thank you for today. Thank you for Square One. For all the fun. For all the boys. Health and safety. And all the families. In Jesus' name. Oh, no. Bye boys, bye, bye. families, we love you guys. Bye.